Hi, my name is Caleb Clark and my project focuses on the applications of the theorem about three perpendiculars. In high school geometry, we often do not consider three-dimensional problems in depth. Some of these problems have important applications in architecture and 3D modeling. There are two fundamental theorems of three-dimensional geometry. These theorems are necessary to prove almost every problem related to prisms or pyramids. In this project, I will prove one of them, the theorem about three perpendiculars, and show how it can be used to solve non-standard problems. First, I will prove the theorem about three perpendiculars. The theorem about three perpendiculars is as follows. If the line A in the plane alpha is perpendicular to the projection B prime of the line B on plane alpha, then A is perpendicular to B. To start, let M and N be on the line A and equidistant from the intersection of line A and line B. Next, let A and K be on line B such that K is the intersection of lines A and B. Finally, let O be a projection of A on the plane alpha. It's given that A is perpendicular to B prime. This means that MK is equal to NK, OK equals OK, and angle OKN equals angle OKM. This means that triangle OKN is congruent to triangle OKM by sine angle side, and therefore OM is equal to ON. We can also show that triangle AOM is congruent to triangle AON by side angle side, because OM is equal to ON, OA is equal to OA, and OA is perpendicular to OM, which is also perpendicular to ON. This means that angle AOM is equal to angle AON, and if these two triangles are congruent, AM is equal to AN. Finally, we can show that triangle AKM is congruent to triangle AKN by side side side. KM equals KN, AK equals AK, and AM equals AN. Therefore, angle AKM is equal to angle AKN, which is equal to 90 degrees, so AK is perpendicular to KN, and K AK is perpendicular to KM. AK is on line B, and KN is on line A. Therefore, line B is perpendicular to line A, proving the theorem about three perpendiculars. Next, we will prove the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem, which is as follows. If P, Q, R, and S are the faces of a right triangular pyramid, show that P squared plus Q squared plus R squared equals S squared. Let's let A and B be the legs of face P, and let E be the hypotenuse of face P. Let H be the altitude of triangle AOB from O to AB. First, let's consider the base P. The area of face P can be calculated two ways. A1 equals AB over 2, and A2 equals EH over 2. Because these two areas are for the same triangle, we can solve for H in terms of A, B, and E, where H equals AB over E. Next, we will solve for E in terms of A and B. E is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared by the Pythagorean theorem. Let C be the altitude of the prism, and let D be the altitude of triangle ACB from point C to the line AB. Now let's consider a different triangle with sides H, C, and D. We know this triangle is right by the theorem about three perpendiculars. D squared equals H squared plus C squared by the Pythagorean theorem, so substituting for H squared, we get D squared equals A squared B squared over A squared plus B squared plus C squared. All of that is equal to A squared B squared plus A squared C squared plus B squared C squared over A squared plus B squared. Area of each of the prism's faces is given by their side lengths, so P squared equals A squared B squared over 4, Q squared equals A squared C squared over 4, R squared equals B squared C squared over 4, and S squared equals E squared D squared over 4. To show that P squared plus Q squared plus R squared is equal to S squared, A squared B squared plus A squared C squared plus B squared C squared should be equal to E squared D squared. Finally, we substitute for E squared D squared in terms of A and a B. This leads to a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared equals a squared b squared plus a squared c squared plus b squared c squared. 
Therefore, p squared plus q squared plus r squared is equal to s squared. This proves the three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem. Lastly, we will use the theorem about three perpendiculars to determine the lateral area of a special square pyramid. The base of a pyramid P, A, B, C, D is a square with A, B is equal to A. The projection of vertex P on the pyramid on the plane of the base is the vertex D of the square. The height of the pyramid P, D equals B. Find the lateral area of the pyramid. The lateral area can be found using 2 times the area of triangle PDA plus 2 times the area of triangle PAB. This is because triangle PDA is congruent to triangle PDC by side angle side, and triangle PAB is congruent to triangle PCB by side side side. The area of triangle PDA is found simply by multiplying base times height and dividing by 2. That is one half AB. The projection of segment PA is DA. DA is perpendicular to AB because ABCD is a square. Therefore, PA is perpendicular to AB by the theorem about three perpendiculars. This means that triangle PAB is right with angle PAB equal to 90 degrees. Segment PA is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared by the Pythagorean theorem, so the area of triangle PAB is equal to 1 half A times the square root of A squared plus B squared. Lastly, we substitute the area of triangle PDA and the area of triangle PAB to solve for the lateral area. This simplifies to AB plus A times the square root of A squared plus B squared. The lateral area of a square pyramid with the vertex above one of the square's vertices is AB plus A times the square root of A squared plus B squared. In conclusion, I proved the theorem about three perpendiculars and used it to solve some non-standard problems like the 3D Pythagorean theorem and finding the lateral area of a special square pyramid. Thank you for listening to my presentation.